Do you have runner's knee, jumper's knee, patellofemoral pain syndrome, PFPS? Today, we're going to talk about how you can use kinesiology therapeutic tape, KT tape, to help with that malalignment or tracking issue of your kneecap on your femur or the long end bone. Oftentimes, it is moving in this aspect where there's a little bit more wear and tear this way so we're not getting perfect fracking and that causes pain it causes friction it can cause thickening of the tendon and certainly it hurts when you run it hurts when you jump that's why it's often called runner's knee or jumper's knee so we utilize in the office and with our physical therapy colleagues kt tape Today, I'm going to tell you or show you how to place the KT tight very specifically for PFPS, runner's knee, jumper's knee. And it's a little bit more advanced technique than a medial or lateral or inside or outside knee taping. So I've done some pre-cutting because we don't need the full pre-cut strips here, which is how this does come. It comes in pre-cut strips and I've done some additional cutting. So this is what a pre-cut strip looks like. You would tear that off, but we don't need a whole strip this turning. We only need a piece that is about this long, so I pre-cut that. We also need a piece that all but the last, say, four centimeters or two inches or so, maybe five, yeah, five centimeters, is whole, and the rest is kind of cut down the middle so that we can get this part up here is our acre. And these parts down here are going to go around the patella or the kneecap. So let's show you how that's done. So we're just going to sit with the knee dangling in a 90 degree here. Tension on the very edges, but you're going to have maximal like 90% tension on the middle aspect. So you want to know where that kneecap is. You can see that the kneecap ends right here. So I'm going to actually take both ends of the backing off. And I'm going to pull very, very tight. I'm going to place this right here as I go. And then I'm going to let go so that my anchors do not have any tightness at all. And then get that nice and warm and start to get it to hold on. Because this is going to be what the other part anchors to. So we want that kneecap to be stable. So the next piece is going to have the anchor here. I'm going to put the anchor on and then we're going to do different degrees of tension on the medial side versus the lateral side. The medial side, about 40% tension. The lateral side, about 60% tension because we actually want to pull that kneecap this way towards the medial to offload the patellofemoral joint space and to reduce pain on that patellofemoral ligament. So I'm going to start with the anchor and remember anchors don't have any tension so we're just going to place this on nicely and then I do the medial strip first because remember that's the 40% one it's going to go from the medial aspect of the inside of the patella down to the lateral aspect so we're going to take off just this one little piece here we're going to pull about 40% of tension 40 40 40 40 40 and then back down onto this here Okay, so that's right around. The next is the lateral or the outside, so I'm gonna take that off. We're going to go around the outside at about 60% tension, right around that kneecap. And then this nicely, that's what I like about KT tape is it forms beautifully, and it comes back around here. So I can actually cut some of these tails off. I don't need nearly this much with the size of my leg and the size of the pre-cut strips. So I can get rid of some of that here and make sure that I apply the warmth and friction to get this to grab on so that it's actually kind of got my kneecap in this little donut hole here. And that should help with patellofemoral tracking. As I extend my leg from here, it's holding that kneecap. It's actually doing a little bit more pulling. I can feel that it's pulling a little bit more like this, which is what we want to happen at this point we want to offload that portion of the joint so that I can get some relief during my workouts as a runner or if I'm doing jumping, think of a basketball. Even in a pickleball, I do a lot of jumping. If somebody's trying to do a lob over my head and I'm at the kitchen line, then I can jump up and not have any issues if this is taped, if I have PFPS. 
So that's one reason to use it. It's also, if you're just trying to offload, if you've got some swelling, some maybe some bursitis around the area, you're trying to avoid a knee replacement, you're injured right now and you know that you're gonna have a procedure, whether that be cell therapy with PRP, bone marrow or adipose, or you're gonna go on to have either a scope or a reconstructive surgery with an orthopedic surgeon. This is for the in-season athletes. This is for somebody who needs to get through their day as a weekend warrior or even an everyday person. You can place this KT tape on and it will stay on through your day. Things you can do to increase the likelihood that it's gonna stay stuck is put it on clean, dry skin without body oils, without lotions, without dirt. Another thing is if you're hairy, then you want to shave the area. Otherwise, the tape cannot create a nice suction to the skin. Instead, it's kind of insulated by the hair. And another thing is what I've been showing you here, where we do that rubbing to provide that friction and activates the adhesive so it sticks where it's supposed to do. And that is how you KT tape for PFPS or patellofemoral pain syndrome, runner's knee, jumper's knee. If you like this video, please hit the like, hit subscribe, and I'd love to hear your questions and your comments. You may be the person who asked the question of the next topic. Also, we look at all things knee on our Knee Boost system. So visit us at www.kneeboostnow.com. And I look forward to helping you get back to the activities you love. No more knee pain. Thank you. If you have knee pain and would like to learn more, I have a worksheet called five things to do now to reduce your knee pain within a week. Go to www.kneeboostnow.com to download it for free. I'd love to hear from you. So please like subscribe and comment below so I can help you get out of your knee pain.